of the Empire State Building. C100. New York. This is really amazing because we have champions in the house talking we Eurovision 2021 yeah. and beyond. Give it up for Mana Shrin. Oh, yeah. oh Hi. goodness gracious. What you all have been able to do since the band was formed in 2016, it's, it's been one of the most amazing journeys to watch. And thank you for uh, bringing this awesome energy, the glam rock, the the power, the energy on stage and off to the States, finally. How's it feel? Max is a Welcome super fan. Yeah. Yeah. He's a super fan, so he's so excited. I'm hyped. That I'm hyped about actually it. actually here. Because you've been talking about this forever. Yeah, man. I, I go and I try to get to Rome just to get a glimpse. Of <laughs> how's, it, how's it been here in New York for your, uh, your first couple of uh, nights that you've been hanging out? Yeah, here? great. It's great. 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 We're making our U.S. debut, so <laughs> yeah. we're... Yeah, we're hyped too. So we're first <laughs> I don't want to discover, you know. <laughs> on the Jimmy Fallon, on the, I mean, the, the Tonight Show, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, all that, to hit that stage for your first American uh, television performance. What was what was the energy like in the studio when you got to bring the songs to life? It that was, was insane, yeah. yeah. We really trouble. couldn't realize we were there for real. <laughs> it was very nice. <laughs> yeah. Pinch myself moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you yeah. said this is your first time in New York? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. our first time. You always see it in the movies and the TV shows. Yeah, How yeah. Does, it, does it live up yeah, to it? Exactly. Is it smellier than you thought? Do you love it? No, yeah, it's, no it's it amazing. seems so it's cool. Amazing. We love it. Expect. We need yeah. some days to see it, to visit it more, because these yeah. days we were so jet lagged, so we just slept basically. But yeah, <laughs> we're gonna make sure that we set aside a proper four or five days for you to experience this. A tour. To do the shopping, yeah. to do all the New York things, to eat a, a nice. Well, I don't know if our pizza can compare, because some of the best pizza that I've ever had was obviously in Italy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've got to say. But uh, tell us about um, coming together, uh, the band, and really creating this sound and, and how it feels to be able to do it with your brothers and sister. What's this feeling yeah. like for mm-hmm. you? It was, it's been an amazing journey. We we got together in 2016 and uh, since 15. 15, 15, yeah, 15. sorry. Wow. <laughs> the time just and, uh, goes yeah. by. Yeah, and <laughs> since then we, we always worked uh 25 a, a day yeah 24 yeah. a day um and uh no, yeah 25 is correct yeah 25 <laughs> we, we added an hour this day. and uh yeah we worked a lot to create our sound of course it changed it through the years because yes. we were really young and we we still had to form our personalities so but uh, it's been an amazing journey and uh we will do it again yeah. oh, <laughs> for sure we have yeah, so happy yeah. to stay here and look back to the uh, look to the back it's incredible for us you know uh, to, to see the records really connect globally now yeah. what's that feeling like well let's let's go back to the 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 beautiful moment matter of fact can i, can I play the sound oh yeah you take, he's, he's replayed it like 20 eyes. times yeah he i've been i've been moment. sitting here trying to find let me see if i can get this set up for you guys here because there was a particular thing that happened 106 That moment when the final tally was there and you all realized that Eurovision the, the championship was there not only just for the band but for Italy. Yeah. What did that feel like? It was like, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We 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 needed no like way. I don't know a couple of weeks to realize yeah. what happened. It was yeah. very insane. We yeah. were very very happy about about what happened. Of course, moreover because it was thanks to the vote of the audience that we won. So yes. that's what means the most for us, of yeah. course, because. We, we just got the chance to share our music with so many people and seeing yeah. all that love coming to us, it was really unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Gosh, yeah. Man. And I want to know, when you guys were younger, in your room, at home, practicing your craft, did you always know, like, I'm going to be a rock star one day, period? Or, <laughs> or like, are some of you like, I didn't know, I was kind of nervous. It's- hoping for it, but... <laughs> hoping? We always sure. do. Always hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was like, we always. Yes. I was like, I always. I had it there. To realize that your songs are, yeah, like we said before, the, it, global. You yeah. know, to share your sound with the world. When you hit the stage and you bring to life Begin, for instance, and you see the 50, 70, 100,000 people sing along and rock with you. What does that mean as songwriters to watch that in the flesh and to be there with the fans? 
Yeah, it's amazing because um, you, you understand that you created a connection with people. And, yeah. Uh, I think that for an artist in general, it's the it's the most important thing. Like uh, we we always work a lot to share our feelings in our music, and when we manage to get a connection with the people yeah. it's the moment when we feel most like fulfilled yeah and uh yeah it's amazing Gosh. yeah it's incredible to know that we when we write new song we have the possibility to share with lots of people yeah. around the world and this is so incredible now for us this is the main thing well people want to hear it your tour loud like loud kids on tour it sold yeah. out in yeah. 25 minutes yeah. you guys had a bet about this something yeah. about a bet can you yeah, explain yeah. no when when we put the sure. tickets on sale <laughs> yeah. we were like let's make a bet and how long are the tickets gonna be sold out and they they asked me and i was like mm, maybe a week and they were oh. like oh no that's too short amount of time come on that's too short and then after one hour we were like yeah. i don't remember we we're doing something so we didn't have our we phones we saw it on twitter one hour we after saw twitter? Yeah. yeah we saw on twitter like I can't get my tickets and I'm like what's going on and then I was like and you sold the website yeah you crashed the website yeah Yeah. Yeah. that's what happens when you have fans uh, like you said connecting to your to your songs and uh, to have it be on a global scale is is something that's truly special Um, what do we have in store for the live shows for anybody that has taken a look on Instagram or Twitter they know it's you're losing calories you're sweating <laughs> you're out there partying your faces off is that what we can expect on this full tour or are you gonna need some days in between time no, to no, rest no. and relax mm, absolutely no. not yeah absolutely. we're going non-stop no, right no. exactly yeah basically when we were on stage we we just had fun uh as the audience so yeah. it's uh it's uh it's a huge party basically ah, <laughs> yeah party of games Oh, dude. And then we have to talk about the clothing and the style. You guys have you the guys have sweat. already rock stars, <laughs> and you guys are working with Gucci with the Aria yeah. campaign. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. is that? Uh, How cool! Yeah, it was very cool, yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, How does that feel? That's great. Yeah. It was great. That's yeah, great. to have the chance to work with such an amazing brand, of course, and yeah, designs it was. was amazing. When you get that email, when it comes through, and you know that the House of Gucci uh, looks to you as brand ambassadors, looks to you as style and fashion icons, um, yeah, I mean, besides under and understanding, it, it feels absolutely amazing. But is that a dream come true? Was that a goal that you hoped to reach, or uh, was this just really something that was a blessing? Yeah, I yeah, think we didn't say. really like think about it nope. or planned it it just happened that we were like wow yeah insane <laughs> and uh was oh, awesome. and i saw one one photo she you guys had you guys are all naked mm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. is that like totally. normal <laughs> Normal. It's normal. It's kind of normal. That's what we do. Yeah. You guys are just the homies. I, I did deal. notice too. Uh, before we get you out of here, uh, it's well, we didn't get to talk to, uh, about uh, Mamma Mia, another track that's amazing. Yes. But, uh, a tattoo. Where where did that? Was the tattoo before or after? Uh, how long has it been there? Is it real? Yeah. It's real. It's real. It's real for sure. So was that prior to the song coming together or was that afterwards? No, when we wrote the song, I said, okay, Mamma Mia, it's cool. I'm going to tattoo it. Yeah. Uh, hey. Just like that. Yeah. 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 Any thing. plans on a next studio tattoo? Studio, yeah. In studio. Yeah. studio. Yeah. 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 We need a party. My mom would kill me, but yeah. Yeah. love yeah. it. <laughs> I, think, I think your mom would approve. Seriously, man. Um, but one of the things that I really wanted to ask is it's been an amazing journey, especially this last year. And and, and again, to represent for Italy for the Eurovision Song uh, Competition, and and I have them uh, have have you all win the the Euro Cup with what with with football with soccer. So much amazingness has been coming out of the country. How proud are you to be Italians and to be able to share who you are with the rest of the world? Yeah, no, we're very proud uh, of the fact that finally Italy is uh, yeah. managing to show that we are not just. Beats up exactly and stuff, but we're uh, a smart country. And yes, we have our traditions and our uh, excellence. Yes, so, um, we're really happy uh, for us and for the athletes and uh, for everything that's happening. Also for the Nobel Prize that yeah. we won this year. Yes, yeah, and especially for the music because <laughs> we are so glad that the Italy doesn't have lots of band, and so for us it was really um, you know incredible thing. I mean. Thinking about a band after that won the Eurovision come from Italy. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's forever going to be That's on your true. resume. Right. You will yeah. always be able to say that. And it's such a special thing when you get to do it with that, such a pure heart and that being the reason why. And as you said earlier, um, having the fans be the ones that loved it the most. So yeah. thank you for putting this amazing spin on Begging. I mean, because this song, it was a classic and it's even more iconic because of how you all <laughs> interpreted you. it. So congratulations. Welcome to community. New York for your first time. Yes, we'll make it back. We're yeah. Maybe some too. tattoos and a different studio. All right, because yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to bring needles around here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Have, not, not right but now. would you be down, Crystal? Um, uh, not possibly. really. Maybe. <laughs> One more time, a round of applause, please. Thank we got Monoskin in the building, hanging on Z100. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. From the top of the Empire State Building. Z100.